I have videos. I have something special to share with you guys today. I was into video making long before I actually had a YouTube channel. I wasn't making gaming videos like I was when I started out this channel. I was making stop motion videos or brick films, whatever you want to call them. Pretty sure everyone who's watching this probably knows what that is, but if you don't... And that was the main thing that I did with my free time from 2009 to 2015. So <laughs> I have a lot of videos from that time. now. They're not great. That was a long time ago, and by my standards now, those are awful. But that is how I learned video making skills. It's how I learned editing. Now, as I made those videos, I pretty much just emailed them out to friends and family to show them off. And uh, I did make a blog. It was a private blog that I only shared with friends and family, and I posted a lot of the videos on there. That blog has since been deleted. One of the videos, called Neighborly Part 1, was posted on some other places. It was posted on lego.com, on their gallery that they had at the time, which has since been deleted. It was also posted on YouTube, on a throwaway channel, and I have since thrown away the channel. So there is a chance that you may have heard of that one if you were from certain circles and online LEGO communities and animation communities. It actually made quite a splash among the people who did see it, and it was featured on an animation blog by two professional animators. It's called The Set Bump. But when they shared it, it was an embedded link from the throwaway YouTube channel that I threw away, so it's gone. None of these videos are online anywhere right now. I feel like I should be standing back here so you can see my arms move. Maybe I should just give this a nudge and there we go. Point is none of these videos are online anywhere right now. They just kind of ended up in a folder on an archive hard drive that's not even connected to my computer. Just kind of stashed in a little corner on a shelf above my desk. And a lot of the videos weren't even finished so there were just a lot of bits and clips and frames and sound effects that were never assembled the way they were supposed to be. And I've been meaning to do this for a while, but it was kind of a big intimidating task. But finally, over the past month or so, I spent a lot of time pulling out those files, sorting them out, taking all of the broken pieces and editing them together the way they were supposed to be, and trying my best to figure out the dates that they were made so that I can put them all in chronological order. And then I took all of those videos and I uploaded them to a playlist on this channel. Now that I have an actual, official, well-established YouTube channel that's not going anywhere, and it's not just a random channel with a really random name that I almost couldn't find again, these videos can have a home, an actual home where I know where to find them, and everyone who should know where to find them knows where to find them, because they're with all my other videos. And you guys, my subscribers, might be interested in seeing this. Uh, I want to stress that I do not consider these videos to be entertainment. I make a lot of videos and I put them on this channel and I work hard on them and try to make them entertaining for you because they're designed for an audience. These videos were designed for an audience by me when I was like 12. They are here for two reasons. Reason number one, for my own nostalgia. I can go back and I can view them. And reason number two, if you are a fan of this channel, you might be interested in how I got started making videos. This is kind of a historical record for this channel. A lot of this, there, there are like two hours of videos here, and I doubt any of you are gonna wanna watch all of them. A lot of them don't have stories or anything. They're just minifigures moving around doing random stupid things. I'm trying really hard not to hype this up and make you think it's actual entertainment. But if you're just curious about what 12 year old me was like, that, that's what this is for. If you're here looking for genuine entertainment and you just wanna watch the best thing on the playlist, Go and watch Neighborly Parts 1 and 2. They're somewhat decent, but that, that's the best thing you're going to find in there. Yes, that's something I need to talk about too. Uh, a few of you watching this video no doubt have heard of Neighborly Part 1 and know that it was originally intended to be part one of a six-part series. Most of my videos did not get finished. Neighborly Part 1 was released, and I said there were going to be five more parts following. I never released anything else. What most people don't know is I actually did all of the animation for part two and all of the voices and the sound effects for part two and I did all of the editing for part two and then my uh, editing software broke down. It turned evil and it started grabbing up all the files it could reach and corrupting them and destroying them and I basically just gave up. I was like, it's toast, it's destroyed, forget it. So as a special treat for this playlist, for this archive, I have taken all of the files, 
the original, the animation, the voices, the sound effects, and I have edited them. Edit. I have edited them together as it was meant to be. And I didn't just edit it together. I went to great lengths. The first half, the first third of Neighborly Part Two, was rendered. For some reason, I think it it wouldn't fit into two parts. What? I analyzed that piece and the style in which I edited it back then, and I matched that for the rest of the video, so it is edited as closely as possible to the way it would have been if I had done it back then. There are two more cases like this, not actual videos. I filmed a behind the scenes video for Neighborly, and it never got edited and I filmed a behind the scenes video for a video called Sonic, not Sonic the Hedgehog. It's just a video called Sonic. Here I am ready to start animating on my video. Neither of those behind the scenes videos ever got edited together. I have edited them this year. Who invented the word edited? That's a really annoying word to say. So besides that, uh, there are also, as I mentioned, a bunch of videos where they were in pieces and I just stuck the, stuck the clips together so there's not any major editing to get at a few of them had my real name in the credits. I don't use my real name on this channel, so I've edited those out. In some of them, you'll see the name Top Secret Spy Guy in the credits. That was my username that I used on lego.com back then. Just a couple more notes. I know at this point I'm just giving you some notes about how this archive works. Some of the videos have music in them that I don't own. Fortunately, YouTube it allows that to be used, and they just detect the music, they find out who owns it, and they make sure that person gets the revenue. I know it sounds weird, it seems weird to me, but I, when I uploaded them, I got an email from YouTube saying, you don't need to do anything, everything is fine. The last note that I have for you is that each one of these videos in the description has some notes. There's a date, uh, the closest I can tell you to when the video was made. Uh, there's an explanation to what exactly you're looking at because a lot of the videos are just dumb and scriptless and have no explanation. And then there are a lot of just uh, notes about uh, memories that I had have of making them, fun facts about them. But the way I intended it to work is you read the description, then you watch the video. But again, there are like two hours of content here. I'm not expecting anyone to actually watch this. I just want to stress one more time before I end this introduction video. I know I've said it several times already. This is not entertainment. This is two hours of archival content from when I was a kid and I just needed to put it somewhere. It needed to not be shoved in a dusty corner. It's basically a scrapbook and you are welcome to point and laugh at all of the silly pictures. Speaking of pointing and laughing, one last thing. All of the videos, because they have Lego in them, they have to be listed as made for kids on YouTube, which means you can't put comments on them. This video is not listed as made for kids. You can comment here all you want. All right. I'm done, I'll shut up now, uh, click the link in the description to find the hidden playlist with my stop motion archive. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Here I am ready to start animating on my video. It's got the uh, script right here, all written out, storyboard, whatever you want to call that. And I've got all my characters put together, yeah, there's the studio, I've got the set put together, everything's ready. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm ready to start anyway, so, it's time to start on that.